This is the Fire HD8, 32 gigabyte storage. Taking a look around the box here. Let's see about cutting it open and see what's inside. And of course, naturally everything's packed nicely together. It comes with the manual, plug, instructions, and a cord. Oh, I have to slow down for this because <laughs> nothing beats the satisfaction of having to peel off the uh, protective plastic around the outside. Let's just enjoy that for a second. All right, let's set it off to the side and let's see about pulling out the Fire 8. And just looking around on this, peeking at it, you can see on this side, there's the dual speakers. By the way, those things are loud. Uh, you'll see the port right here for the micro SD. I have never used it, and I've actually had this tablet for a while already. All right, and in the very top, that's where the volume and the power switch is at. So we're just going to go ahead and press that power switch to turn it on. It takes a moment just to boot up. Of course, I'm going to skip through that. And the next thing you're going to need to do, of course, is select the language you want it to appear in. And in the very next step, you're going to need to make sure you sign into your Wi-Fi. And also, you're going to need to sign into your Amazon account. Those come one right after the other before you can even get to anything. So that takes a few minutes. Otherwise, with a little bit of patience, you'll get yourself to this point. And it's going to have you set up some of the options as you kind of go through. And then it'll walk you through a tutorial. Keep in mind, you can kind of just skip forward. And another setting. And I believe the next setting is they want to set a screen lock. I don't ever worry about a screen lock, to be honest. This stays in my house, and it's not going to go anywhere else. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip for now. There's another offer, of course. And I can say no thanks at this point. Move over to the very next screen. At this point, I'm just hoping that we can get in. It's going to offer some different apps and things like that that I might be interested in. And of course, we can just skip through that and add that stuff later on. Here we are at the home screen. I got to tell you, I've had this 8 for a while, and I actually really like it a lot.